Shares of DocuSign trading lower after third quarter earnings. The e-signature company beat analyst expectations and revenue expectations and gave a strong current quarter revenue outlook as well. Growth has slowed since the height of the pandemic. Of course, that's probably obvious. But the CEO, Alan Tegason, said on the earnings conference call that the company is in the early stages of expanding beyond its signature business. He also said there's been meaningful progress toward the company's goal. Alan joins us right now. He just passed one year in the top job at DocuSign. And Alan, I think the picture has improved over the course of the morning. Shares are down, but by less than 1% at this point. Yes, I, I do think it was a very solid quarter for DocuSign. We, we beat on all our operating metrics. Um, I was particularly proud of the operational execution inside the company. We ended up uh, posting record operating income and record cash flow. Um, so I think that, that speaks well to, to the team's efforts. Uh, and on our other strategic priorities, uh, from a product roadmap perspective, we, we are continuing to up our pace of innovation and uh, released a number of exciting uh, things here this quarter we can talk more about. And, and then by looking ahead to a, a very rapid release schedule over the next several months as we go into broader agreement management. What, what are you doing beyond the signature business, the, the key business that everyone knows you for? Yeah, well, if you think about all the steps in the agreement journey, from drafting to editing and negotiating, settling, maybe identifying the, uh, the identity of, of the other party, then the signing piece, and then once the agreement is signed, how do you actually manage the agreement? We are looking to improve all those steps and have already made substantial um, advances on that front. And that's really an untapped white space uh, in the enterprise software uh, world. Most companies handle their agreements incredibly manually, even today. And so that's a fantastic opportunity for us. And uh, we are hearing from customers. They're responding very positively to uh, our product previews. And so uh, that, that is our core focus and what can give us, I think, our, our next phase of, of growth. Uh, explain that a little bit, because I understand DocuSign. In fact, I, I signed something on DocuSign during the show this morning in the last half hour or so. But when you talk about expanding beyond just signatures, what do you mean? Like the signatures part has gotten rid of, I think, yeah. the need for a note for me to send stuff on fax yeah. machines. Does it I, I feel like it gets rid of the idea of a need for a notary most of the time, too. All these other things you're talking about, what roles do they get rid of? Who do they eliminate? Yeah. Why do they make it more efficient? Well, so I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, you know, most companies at various points or another need to sign new agreements with customers or new agreements with their vendors. Um, and those have to get drafted, customized for who you're sending the document to. Uh, and then perhaps you're verifying the identity of the person and then you decide who needs to approve it internally and externally. All of that is custom workflow. And today that takes a monumental effort to design that. So if I want to change that, change, create a new consumer experience or do something different like that, um, that's, you have to stitch that together manually for many solutions. We're going to make that complete drag and drop. You can just pull in all the different pieces of DocuSign suite, as well as connections to third parties like Microsoft and SAP and Salesforce and other companies like that. And we already have by far the most robust set of solutions. I'm, I'm for that. still a little confused. Are you cutting out other people, other software vendors? What, like who I, this will make, is getting this will disrupted make in this process? Of, yeah, it'll make the development of, of software internally much simpler. Uh, it'll mean that uh, whether you are a, a salesperson or a purchasing person or a lawyer, you can spend a lot less time on bureaucracy and on paper pushing and focus on the stuff that's really where humans can really add value. So it's um, bad news for paralegals and assistants? Uh, you know, I think I think I think the work will evolve for uh, workers in all in all uh, areas as AI comes in to assist. But our our belief is that AI and these workflow tools will assist people in becoming more productive. Um, I, I don't I think when spreadsheets were introduced, it's not like there was less financial analysis performed. <laughs> in fact, uh, a lot more of it because it became so much easier and so much more productive. Well, I guess let me, let me just dig in a little deeper on that. It's, you know, you guys expanded. I, I think of DocuSign as being pretty universal at this point. You took over the marketplace for what was there. If investors want to see growth, you're going to have to expand in other places. And mm -hmm. what is the total addressable market for all these new things that you've laid out? 
Yeah, so even for our core e-signature product, there's still plenty of room to run. Most companies, they may have automated one or two workflows or maybe 10 in some cases. But if you think about the number of, of uh, processes internally that end up requiring a signature and are handling an agreement, uh, it, it, uh, it can number 50 or 100 different workflows. And so we have tremendous opportunity, even with the clients that we already have. And as you point out, we already service uh, the vast majority of the Fortune 500. Uh, when you go internationally, we're at an earlier stage of adoption. Uh, and so we have a huge growth opportunity there. That's why our business internationally is growing much faster and why we're investing there. And then there's the opportunity to sell more things to the, to the customers that we already have. We're fortunate to have a million and a half monthly paying entities. It's an incredible number for an enterprise software company. And so we have a great opportunity to sell them more of these types of agreement management solutions that I alluded to earlier. Those, those 1.5 million paying entities include corporations and then consumers it's, too? Uh, well, consumers don't typically pay us. They're typically signers. You so guys those just tried to all, hit me up to get me to yeah, pay you to yeah, store so those my are documents. All entities. It could be two person law firms, your local plumber, to a mid market firm, and all the way up to the very largest companies. Uh, we're, we're pervasively used in uh, you know, 24 of the top 25 banks in the U.S. use DocuSign as an example.